Welcome back to breastlive.org. A little bit about how much a person has to just be strong and consistent and determined. There's the famous story in the Gemara about Rabbi Akiva and his wife Rachel that she believed in Rabbi Akiva. Her father did not believe in Rabbi Akiva because he was an ignoramus. He was a shepherd. He didn't know any Torah. She saw in him, Rachel, she saw in Rabbi Akiva potential. And the Gemara and the Midrash illustrate that she brought Rabbi Akiva to a stone, a rock, and there was water dropping for years on a certain spot on the rock. And over the years, accumulation of the water dropping on the rock, it eventually made a hole in the rock. And Rachel, she showed this Rabbi Akiva to indicate to him, you see that water, which is nothing, it's soft, it's nothing, but with consistency, it made a hole in the rock. It made a hole in the rock. And she showed this to Rabbi Akiva to say that even the, 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 the thickest head, a person who has literally a bricked head, he's so dumb and stupid and so hard to penetrate, if he's consistent with the water, which is compared to holiness, the water of Torah, right? So eventually you can make a hole in that, heart, that, that rock. So it's extended to also be explained by anything, also a person's heart. A person has a very hard heart. By constant words of prayer, of Yitbodidut, a person can eventually make a hole in his heart for words to come out. This applies for everything. If also you feel that you're asking Hashem for years and years and years for help, for any matter, and you see you're not getting anywhere, the answer for this situation is you have to keep on going. Because determination is needed. You have no idea how much you've made a hole already, how much is left. But the thing is, you have to keep on going for sure and not to give up. Most people, Rav Nosen writes, they see that days and weeks and months and years pass and they feel like they've gotten absolutely nowhere with their prayers. Not only that, lo zo af zo, but they feel they're even worse off than before. Not only do I feel I haven't advanced, but I feel I'm much worse than I was when I started. I, if only I would be like I was in the beginning, and it's chaval, if I, it would be better if I, off if I would have never jumped into and entered this realm. Rav Nosen says you need a lot of determination to be a Jew, a lot of determination to become a tzaddik, a lot of determination to come close to Hashem. What's needed is determination and to keep on going. And for sure you will feel like you're trying to make a hole in a big wall. It's true. But the thing is, you have access to a type of water that every drop, which is consistent daily, begins to make a hole into the wall. This is the secret Rabbi Nachman teaches, Rabbi Nassim teaches, of how anyone makes it in their life. All the tzaddikim who became tzaddikim, it was mainly through this advice that they kept on going. Even with the biggest you know, setbacks and biggest feelings that I'm just wasting my time, wasting my life. Everybody goes through that. The majority of people, they see that, they just drop it. I give it, I give it a shot. I gave Judaism a try. It wasn't for me, right? Whatever it is. The thing is, you need determination. Everyone went through this. You're not, you're not a chidush. You're not something special. Everyone went through what you're going through. They didn't have an advantage. They had your disadvantage. The thing is, they kept on going. This is the message that Rachel was showing to Rabbi Akiva as illustrated in the Talmud.